Hey, Troy here from Ahoy Vans, built by Romer. We've got our mascot, Dune, here. Gonna give you a nice tour of our latest van. We're gonna go ahead and start on the inside. We've got this really great Rainier floor system that's both sound deadening and insulating. Um, and with Lost Highways Cubby, nice trims. We've got our Lavio toilet. I call that the uh, adult diaper genie. It's amazing. Dry toilet. Um, we've got a helper zero breeze AC unit to take the edge off hot evenings. And then we have our fold down seat. This is actually a uh, kind of a proprietary thing I have. Um, these are Friedman seats, but I have the engineering to put them together to actually create a three-person fold-down seat. This comes up as a leg down here to the floor, which uses one single bolt to go through as the extra support. And it's just awesome how much room. This is, this, this van seats five, and it sleeps five. So while you're camping, you have this folded up You've got your fold-out trash can, fridge, got your sink, fold-up faucet, you've got your extra power, and then you have your galley kitchen during, uh, this is day mode, so you have these nice, um, toppers here. It's actually boat decking material. It's the same as what I'll show you more in more depth on the ceiling. It's really beautiful. This has flares so you can sleep sideways. These are five foot boxes so you, it's basically like a king, uh, queen size bed and you can sleep sideways. Lots of storage. Let's see here. Turn on the light right here. There's also a remote that comes with it so all the lights come on. There's lights inside the cabinets. Extra storage, uh, uh, power outlet here. Of course, a little nod to the cap of the nautical with the uh, Ahoy vans with the, the port mirror. We've got a 12 volt oven. And this is where your electronics come in. You've got extra power, your wireless headsets for the TV, and then a switcher for three HDMI. So you could put like a switch, an Xbox, uh, Roku box, whatever you want in here. And then I also have a fold down TV, 17 inch TV. Works really nice. It actually folds past 90, so it's a nice view for uh, the kids in the seats. They're not looking up too, too much. Folds away. And then we have a storage uh, container here with a fence to keep things in. Basically, I say put any any soft goods up here that could hit you in the head while you're driving and not give you stitches. Uh, these are actually the blackouts for the front three windows. The other blackouts, you can, they're actually magnetic. They just can stay folded up and then you just fold them right down. Same in the back. It's really nice and convenient just to be able to fold those down. The storage is... Uh, Really great, it's, it's obviously a nice bamboo. It's one of the features of Ahoy Vans is the beautiful bamboo we use, but then you can also reach through here and gain access to stuff um, that you store while you're driving. Wireless uh, iPhone mount. We've got our WeBoost cell uh, repeater. Uh, uh, it's like an enhancer um, for any signal you can get it enhances a couple bars, which is really nice. It works really well for road trips for the kids. Of course, the ceiling I talked about earlier, it's a really, really beautiful uh, boat decking. So it's really nice to the touch. It kind of looks like wood. Got our fan with extra light. And uh, here's the out outdoor lights are really nice. They do, you can forget them outside. They do stick well enough that if you forget them, they, they'll just stick to your van until you get to your next destination. But these you can place anywhere and they're directional, rechargeable, really nice. A uh, little spot for your remotes. And these wall boxes are great because they have a lot of storage. And so this model um, has three drawers on both sides 
Most of these come with flip up lids on both sides. That's how they come standard. And then this is your access panels that you can take off. All the batteries in here and uh, the heater is in here. And then you have actually a lot of long storage left. This is your diesel heater. Um, we'll talk more about it later, but this siphons off the main tank. Um, in here is all your power. I use a single 450 watt Renogy panel that is a little bit overdoing it, but it, it's not overdoing it for cloudy days um, or several cloudy days in a, in a row. The battery is also connected while you're driving, so it's also charging. And then there's also shore power so that you can charge it at night if you want to. Uh, it's a Blue Eddy piggyback system, so it's the main unit and two extra batteries. So you have 500 plus amp hours, so lots and lots of power. Um, right in here, there's three panels that go across here, and I will show a video of that shortly. This is day mode. So this is your three panels nicely tucked away behind here, plus your uh, custom cushions all tucked away so you have all the whole use of your van. You can go to Lowe's, you could put a water heater in here, you could put um, 12 foot lumber in here. Uh, it's really convertible to use in any way. Lots, lots of different you know things that life throws at you. So let me reset here and I'll show you in camp mode how it looks. All right, so this is in uh, camp mode. You can see where those three panels go uh, right down the middle and you have your two part mattress. You also have, this is an optional, so you have the flares on both sides. And on this build with this customer, we actually put this access hatch here. They can open up magnetic. So you can put like your sheets and extra things. And then if you're the top of your head or your feet need to kind of go extra through for like a, a taller person, you can actually let them uh, spill over a little bit and get an extra length still with sleeping. But uh, most people, if they're six foot, six foot one, six foot, they don't need this flare um, for the extra sleeping. This one should be sufficient. You got some L-Track for, this is for the panels or hanging or mounting anything else that you want. You've got your reading lights. You can put anywhere you want with USB underneath, so there's power. Um, and the other cool thing about this system is when you fold this up, you can see these three panels. These are the Lost Highway boxes. You can actually take two panels out or one panel out, slide them toward the middle and have um, a stool on either side for a table. So one of the things that I really uh, thought through on this layout is what about rainy days? Because there's always an unexpected rainy day and you're able to have a table here. When the seat's down, which I'll show you a little bit later, um, there's a table that goes up here. But uh, while the seat's up, you actually can take your lagoon style table. You've got your, your mount right here and the table comes right here and it folds out into double the size. I'm gonna go ahead and put that on so you can check that out and see what it looks like. All right, so this is with the Lagoon style table on the chair. You can see it just mounts right there, it swivels back and forth. This is a full size table, so you can, again, use this in day mode. If these are up, have this galley kitchen, extra snacks, whatever you want. Um, big size table. This actually folds up so it's a small table. If you want to use it just as like put an extra cutting board on there. However you want to use it. You can fold it out this way. Have a so stool on either side of there. Stool on either side of here. These seats can be swiveled around. So whatever the, the trip throws at you. Uh, rain, snow, uh, whatever. You can uh, actually spend some time in the van and not feel like you're cr too cramped. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you the setup with the seat down and how it seats five, and that will conclude the inside. All right, so once the seat folds down, these seats fold back, and you have pretty nice seats for three. And you got your table right here, like I said earlier. You can actually still turn this if you really need to have a big, um, a big table, 
It's actually this way here. Pull this out. So you can have a decent sized table here uh, for work, mobile workstation or while you're traveling with the kids. Or normally what I, I usually use is this in back and forth here as a small table. That works out really, really well. And then uh, the seats are actually pushed back quite a bit from where the stock position is. So you actually have a lot of space right here. So our dog can actually go with us really easily and feel like you're not crowding anybody or your kids actually can put your their, their backpacks under the chair. You can take an extra um, little cooler with you or whatever you want. So you can actually have a lot of space coming in. And what's really cool is even when the doors close, you still have enough space. And with this step, you have a lot of space here to still stand. So I could actually close the door here and you can see that I can still step around and get to the front. So you, even if this is like this in camp mode and you keep the seat down for like a quick stealth overnight, um, you can, some, somebody can be changing to here, somebody can be changing here. So that really concludes the inside, really, uh, really versatile. I uh, really like the way this layout is. This is our standard kind of deluxe layout with all the bells and whistles. Um, I'll take you around the outside and kind of show you the rest of the build. I'm going to give you a tour of the outside of the van. That'll conclude the tour of our latest van. You get a uh, full length Fiamma awning. It's crank out. It's deployable within a couple minutes. Uh, we opt not to do electric just because of issues we've heard on the forums about people getting stuck out in the middle of nowhere. Side steps, we can do this option or rock rails. Uh, just depends on what your needs are off-road. We put always put a couple bigger set, uh, size, uh, bigger tire and a nice black rhino rim. And we use Fabtech for our suspension. And the front is a piggyback shock system. And the rear is a new tuned shock for more weight. And it really, really affects the ride. But the van just looks, looks killer. And of course, this is the... Uh, all the bells and whistles on this van. So we have our CA tuned front bumper with front hitch and worn wrench. So it's really ready for anything and everything you can throw at it. We got our front lights that matching with the six upper lights throw us off a lot of light on the trail. And then our one up um, USA bike rack in the front. This is a dual up front. You can actually put a triple. We've brought our um, e-bikes on the front on the front of this thing, and it really does. You sit up so high, it doesn't really impede your your view. So this is the full setup here. So what what uh, it's actually one of my favorite features having the hitch up front because now you can still utilize your rear doors and your whole van and not have to take your bikes on and off, which is annoying on my wife's car. Following around here. We've got our Wii Boost antenna booster. So if there is signal, it will boost it and it works really great for road trips. It's kind of like a hybrid between having nothing and the full on Starlink system, which is super expensive. This is a, this comes with the van. It doesn't cost you anything extra. You can just get yourself a $50 a month little uh, hotspot and be much cheaper if that's meets your needs. Free Spirit Recreation rooftop tent. It's a queen size bed. So this is where the other three sleep. So you got a queen size in front, queen size here, owl ladder with a board rack. This thing works really nice. It's adjustable, clicks into place and locks. You can, un right here, you can actually need a key to open it up, like a special key. And then you can basically make your board straight by adjusting where, how, how far apart they are. And then this tube back here is actually a proprietary um, Ahoy van product uh, that we put only on our vans so that you can still utilize your front door. A lot of times they have a pull here and now your board's like way up front, especially when you have like an 11 foot board like this. So this is an 11 foot board. You can still get into your front seat. And in the back here, again, this is totally decked out for this, cus the, this client. We've got the Owl um, spare tire with the ladder. And you, so you can entry up to open the rooftop tent that just folds open uh, like this with a clamshell, or you can 
then you can also go from the side too if that makes you more comfortable. We've got two one-up bike trays for mountain bikes that stay on all the time. And then we also have our um, rhino rack, uh, snow mode, both on the side for two pairs of skis for kids and four up top. And then this also doubles during uh, non-winter mode for your paddle board. And you actually just, you know, go straight up in there and um, you can actually lock it, which is really nice. And then of course is the duty box. There's propane in there and your shower attachment and uh, all that goodies. This is your outdoor shower, connects right here to the ball. So you just have your shower right here and uh, you don't even have to open the doors. You can turn the water pump on and start the flow and it is good to go. Uh, this also is another hitch that comes from stock, but you can actually put another um, bike rack in the back. So this client has five and these five bikes. So we loaded them up with two racks so they can put five e-bikes plus two mountain bikes to do anything and everything they want to do. And here we got your shore power and outdoor uh, outlets for like a Starlink. And then we have our outlet for water, really nice stainless steel yacht quality in our inlet for water. And there's a 24 gallon tank on board. And there's also what you can't see is a 47 gallon fuel tank for diesel. So you can go about 600 miles and uh, it's just really awesome. The heater taps right into it. So you top off when you get to your destination and you don't have to worry about any um, running out of propane or fuel for your heater. You'll have plenty of, it's of, uh, of juice for your heater. So this is it. This is the 2022 model. We have a 23 we're starting here in the next couple weeks. We'll be very similar to this, but this is our Ahoy uh, cruiser model that you uh, basically can use for the daily for mobile workstation, anything and everything that family life throws at you. Um, you can actually sacrifice the truck. You don't really need it anymore now that you can put 12 foot lumber and close the doors. Um, really does everything, being able to seat five, sleep five, and have uh, wireless headsets for the TV, um, still have the sink, little fridge, toilet, uh, you just take it when you need it. You don't really need it all the time for the daily life, but uh, when you need it, you have it. So you just throw it in there, and of course it's the deluxe model. And that's, that's a wrap. Hopefully you enjoy, and if you want more information, go ahead and reach out or comment.